Hello, this is Joe Pryor with the virtualrealestateteam.com in Oklahoma City, a part of Redbud Realty and Associates, and uh, I want to talk a little bit more about short sales, fairly common subject for the videos. And what I wanted to address is we're doing a lot of advertising to, to put out there that we try to help people avoid foreclosure. Uh, we send out postcards, we send out letters to people that are late on their payments, we send uh, we do a lot of these videos, blog posts, uh, special websites developed to it, and so uh, we get calls. Uh, we get people saying, well, you know, Joe, I've, I've seen your video, or I've, I've been on your website, or thanks for the mailer. It, it gives me the, the myths about short sales and, and foreclosure versus short sale, and I, I'd really like to, to see what I can do to avoid foreclosure. And then what they'll do is say, please send us all the documentation that we need to do and we do that. We send them the financial statement request. Uh, we uh, tell them what documents like you know tax returns or uh, their bank statements or anywhere they have debts and, and everything else that goes along with short sales and, and you have to do some work if you're going to do short sales and what disturbs me sometimes is uh, once we send this out it's kind of like dead silence. Uh, for some people they don't get the information back to us uh, and then when we try to respond either by phone and or email uh, we don't hear back from them at all they don't answer their calls and what I'm wondering and and I hope this is not you if you are a distressed homeowner here in the Oklahoma City area is that you're just thinking oh well it'll all go away you know kind of like that classic where you see the ostrich in the cartoon with his head buried in the sand and and uh, thinking well oh gosh the big bad wolf is not gonna get me uh, because they can't see my head uh, so if I don't see it, it won't happen, and that is really not the case. The thing I want to emphasize to you is this, is if we do a short sale, we can minimize any kind of future potential problems you have with collections. In most cases, we're getting full releases. When there's second mortgages, especially equity lines of credit, we're negotiating lower payments because many of these second mortgage companies don't want to give up on that. But if they're giving, uh, say, well, you have $10,000 you owe and we'll take $3,000, uh, then that is really getting you out of $7,000 worth of debt and not having the first mortgage in terms of a deficiency judgment. And that's the problem, guys. They can go as long as 10 years and, and have that debt on the books, uh, on your credit report, and with an ability to, to do a collection. And the thing I want to really emphasize to you, and you probably know this in a lot of ways, nothing's private anymore. You know, for instance, we have services where we can say, well, look, in, in this particular suburb of, of Oklahoma City, or uh, we want, uh, you know, anyone that has $100,000 or more uh, on a loan and they only have one mortgage or maybe they have two mortgages, we want at least 90 days late, we get all this information. And where do you think they get that information? It's the credit bureau. So to think that all this is private about things that are negative about you, is really, really wrong. And get this, if things are positive about you, then things can be really, really, oh well. A couple of years down the road, they can say, well, they've, they've rebuilt their lives. Great. Now, let's go after the collection. We took the loss. Now, I'm not talking about even the IRS debt that you're going to face in terms of a 1099 forgiveness of debt income. <clears throat> that is something that is also very dangerous to you in the future. And those guys have a way of getting their money. Uh, they can start garnishing your wages. What I want to emphasize to you is this. Yes, you're going to have to do some work. You're going to have to fill out paperwork, but don't for a minute think that you've been forgotten about, that these banks will not have the potential, especially the second mortgage companies, of going after you. And I don't think you want that hanging over your head and over the head of your families. So we want to help you. We want to do everything we can. We are willing to do three times the work of any other transaction that you can do in real estate to get you out of foreclosure. All we ask in return is that you show us the good faith, get the documents that the lender wants, and we'll take care of the rest. This is Joe Pryor with the virtual real estate team .com in Oklahoma City, where we deliver traditional real estate values with the speed of technology.